What's up everyone? For the Winatachi here, you know what it is. We are going to be getting into the last Power Trio tin, as you can see in the background in a little bit. You're going to see the Machamp and the Gyarados tins already opened in the background, just chilling and killing. Going to get into my favorite tin. Hopefully it is my favorite tin. The card looks fly as, and I love Mewtwo a lot as a legendary. Being one of the first legendaries in Pokemon, very cool card. It looks very cool. Let's go ahead and get into it ASAP. Starting off with the tin itself, that Mewtwo EX, you can see him fly as on the card. He has the lowest HP, not sure why, but we we'll, might figure that one out with the abilities that it has. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to get ready for Pokemon EX Champions and read all about it. What's in the tin, online, all that shenanigans. Let's go ahead and open the tin. Going to go ahead and get the, uh, the contents that are inside the tin out. Again, Mewtwo. Saved them for last, so hopefully it's best for last. There's the Pokemon TCGO loot card code. I'll be doing a giveaway on that later on. We've got the same four booster packs as the other two tins. We've got two Breakpoints, a Primal Clash, as well as a Furious Fist. We're going to be doing the Breakpoints last, and it's the exact same order as everything else. Here is that card itself. First time I'm actually going to see it, and oh my gosh, this might even be glossier than the other ones, dude. Shadow Shot and Damage Change. I mean, two great abilities. Mewtwo EX, lowest. the other two had 180 HP. Mewtwo EX has 170 HP, but I can kind of see why. I'll have to do a little bit of more research on that one, but I kind of do see why due to the abilities on why he only has 170 HP. Beast looking card, but um, I'm going to do a little bit of a research and give you guys a recap on the three cards and three tins at the end of this video. We're going to go ahead and put the tin in the background and prop up the, uh, the hollow card itself. We are going to go ahead and start opening the booster packs, which is the grand jury of the videos. And we're going to go ahead and start off with, of course, the same one as we usually do, the Furious Fist. There's the uh, the Furious Fist TCGO loot card code. We're going to go ahead and put that one in the back. We're going to go ahead and put three in the back, put them in the front, and start off with a good draw, hopefully. Vigoroth, Super Scoop Up, Amara, uh, Bellsprout, Minin. All right, cool. Puzzles, got a buddy. Mianfo, uh, Shelmet, Scorpy, Reverse Vigoroth. All right, cool. Oh my god, Brillo! Regular rare. Come on, Mewtwo. Pick up the game, bro. Because I've got two Brillo regular rares already. You and my champ, man. Kill him a days. Kill him a days. Alright, let's see if you can do it good on pack number two. Alright, Mewtwo. Let's do this, bro. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and uh, open up pack number two. Three from the back. Put them in the front. Starting off with that Scorched Earth. Mr. Mime. Uh, the Electric. Uh, Clamperol, Metatite, Tentacool, Vulpix, Corefish, Beedrill Reverse, and... Oh, no way! Oh! Trev dude, this card looks beast! Trevin and EX! No! Dude, this card looks sick! This is... Oh my gosh! This is not amazing, Trevin. But, hey, this is a Trevin and EX, and this is probably one of my favorite looking cards of all time. So look at that. I mean... The glow and the art that went into that card is absolutely amazing, dude. Oh my gosh. Opening the breakpoint packs now. Woo. Mewtwo, you're making the heart pound, son. Way to pick up it and uh, way to pick up the game in Booster Pack 2. Alright, there's the TCGO card code. We're gonna go ahead and open that in a bit. I mean we're gonna go ahead and give away that in a bit. Uh three from the back, put them in the front. Starting off with that RK9 Sigilith. Uh, Max Potion, Shoulder, Blitzel, uh, Felicide, Electabuzz, Numel, Reverse Cricketot, and... Oh, no! No! Wait! Yo, you can't do this to me! Mega Gyarados EX! Look at the Japanese letters making it look fly as the eyes from this Gyarados are glowing. Oh, my Mewtwo. I knew it! Best for last. No way. I already won. Uh, Mewtwo's 10 already won. I can't even... Oh, my gosh. No way. Oh, dude, can you do it? Can you do it again for me, Mewtwo? I, I mean, I actually don't want you to do it again because my heart is hurting. Whew! All right, Lapras. I don't even care what I get anymore. The Mewtwo Tin One. That's not. We're not even reading these cards. Forget them because they're all probably doubles, anyways. I almost finished my breakpoint set, so these are all doubles. Yep. Oh, Pangoro, not a double. Reverse. All right. First time I got that one. Oh man. Oh my gosh, Mewtwo, you are on point. What are we going to get in the end? Whew. Here we go. Seismitoad. I mean, I can't hate. I don't got Seismitoad. All right. Mewtwo, I'm sorry, bro. 
to Gyarados and Machamp, but the Mewtwo won. We got a Pengro that I don't have reverse, and a Seismitoad regular rare that I don't have. We've got a Vigoroth and a regular rare Breloom, worst pack of the four, but not bad. We've got a Mega Gyarados, EX, with the Japanese letters with the f eyes looking fly as. And last but not least, a Reverse Beedrill, and that Trevenant EX card looks absolutely amazing! Alright, to finish off the Triple Tin video, we just unboxed the Mewtwo, which was going to be the last Triple Tin box that we are unboxing. Gyarados and Machamp, if you guys haven't checked those out, go ahead and check them out before you get into this section of the video, because I'm about to release everything right now on um, which tin pulled out the best and which uh, EX card is absolutely the best as well. And I'm doing that on a standpoint of both looks category and a standpoint on gameplay. And we're going to go ahead and start off with the tins, as most of you know from this video already, the Mewtwo tin one. I mean, no lie, Mewtwo gave me the best cards by far. Not by far, it was actually pretty close. But if I was to rank them in order, it would be Mewtwo, Gyarados, and Imachamp. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the looks of each card. This is the uh, Gyarados EX. The camera that you can see now isn't the best, um, but that is the Mer uh, Gyarados EX card. Uh, we've got up next the Machamp EX card. And last but not least, we've got the Mewtwo EX card. Now, um, based off of just looks, I'm going to have to give it to the Mewtwo EX. Um, I would give it to Machamp too. Uh, the reason why I like Machamp is the the I just don't. I mean, Gyarados don't look too bad, but I'm just sick of seeing Gyarados due to breakpoint. So if I was to give it in an order, uh, Mewtwo, Machamp, and then Gyarados. I mean, but based off of looks, and I'm pretty sure you guys have the exact same opinion. Um, most people do, most YouTubers do, and the Mewtwo EX card just wins looks wise. It looks category by far. So Mewtwo has won two categories the unboxing category as well as looks. Now can Mewtwo win the um, the gameplay category? You're gonna have to wait and find out next. Alright, so with the last section of the video we're going to go ahead and do the overview on the EX cards themselves on a gameplay standpoint. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you in rank from 3, 2, and 1 in order. With the Gyarados EX being ranked at number 3, it's not a bad card at all, but um, it has uh, the ability Stormy Seeds, which only costs one any energy. Uh, flip a coin until you get Tails. For each Heads, search your deck for a Water Energy card and attach it to this Pokemon, and then shuffle your deck afterwards. So it has 180 HP, has a decent first ability, and then its second ability is Splash Burn, which requires four energies, two any, two water, 130 damage, and it does 10 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. So I don't really like this at all. Um, it's not the best of cards, but it's not that bad. It's just that Machamp, coming in at number two, is actually pretty decent. I know it's very blurry on this camera. Don't worry, if you guys want to go ahead and get a more HD version, go ahead and actually tune into the episodes. Uh, Machamp has another 180 HP. Um, he has two abilities. See me mad, I'm going to tell you the ability, and it might not sound so great. It requires a fighting energy and an any energy. This attack does 20 damage times the number of damage counters on this Pokemon. So you're thinking, so this Pokemon needs to be almost dead for it to do damage. Alright. And then this Pokemon is now confused. You're like, whoa! That ability sucks complete balls. Next up, you got Crazy Hammer. Now this is where it comes into play. Because Crazy Hammer just nerfs, I mean, just buffs up Steamy Mad. So Crazy Hammer requires two fighting energies and an any energy. Does 80 plus damage. If this Pokemon is affected by a special condition, aka Confuse, this attack does 80 more damage. Then remove all special conditions from this Pokemon. So the reason why I'm putting it at second is because it is much better than the Gyarados. The Crazy Hammer gets rid of the confusion from the Steaming Mad, but in order to use Crazy Hammer, you need to get through or you need to bypass that confusion. So you're going to use Steaming Mad as your first ability because it's going to deal, depending on how much damage you've already taken, if you have a lot of damage on your Machamp, you're going to want to use the use Steaming Mad because it's going to use tons of damage because uh, it's 20 times the number of damage counters, but then you're confused. So you're like, hmm, I'm confused now. 
can I knock out this next, um, the next one with 160 damage? Because now that you confuse, your crazy hammer does 80 plus 80, which is 160, but you have to bypass that confusion in order to use this ability. But then if you did bypass and did the 160 damage, you are no longer confused and you're good to go. So Machamp isn't too bad. It has a great niche to it. But that Mewtwo EX has 170 HP. Again, Mewtwo has won the tens, has won the looks. And it's going to win the gameplay. And here's why. First ability, one psychic energy, Shadow Shot. This attack does 30 times. <clears throat> 30 damage times the number amount, uh, the number of psychic energies attached to this Pokemon. So Shadow Shock can be an infinite amount of damage, similar to Flash Burn from the uh, base set of Charizard. Then it has Damage Change, two psychics and a, any energy, and it switches all damage counters on this Pokemon with those of your opponent's active Pokemon. So you're like, wait, bro, that's OP. That's why Mewtwo EX has only 170 HP while the others had 180 HP. You're able to get rid of your damage counters and just throw it onto the other guy. So the only way to knock out Mewtwo is if you can one-shot it. Which isn't hard in Pokemon TCG. But damn, Mewtwo's gonna knock out a lot of foes. So I just want to say, what is your top three based off of looks? What is your top three based off of gameplay? Those are my top three. Mewtwo 10 won it all. I mean, can't complain. Loved it. Let me know what you think. Check out the description box down below. Um, and I do want to say one thing before we leave. I'm starting to kind of run out of funds on uh, Pokemon TCG unboxings. And the reason being is I've been going ham lately on um, Pokemon TCG unboxings. And in order for me to continue to do this, I, I need the help from my fans and my viewers um, to go ahead and check out that donations link down below in the description box. A dollar, 50 cents, anything would, ha would help. Um, I don't like to do this too often, but I do need to ask for donations because it would help improve the channel. It would help me purchase more Pokemon TCGs so I can do unboxing videos for you guys, and you guys can check them out. And, yeah, I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in, everyone. Um, I hope you guys can check out that this, uh, the donation box and the description box down below. Um, it would mean a lot to me. That donations link is 100% pro because it will help the channel. But I just want to say stay tuned for the live streams. Stay tuned for some more videos. Thank you very much for tuning in. Brother Winatachi is out.